Hi everyone, it is me Christine, um, the Naptime Sewist, back again with my September plans. Um, so I hope everyone is well. Um, I am so glad to have everyone back. Thank you for anyone who has subscribed and um, joins me in all of my lovely Natterin videos. And for anybody that is new here, welcome! Um, click the like button and subscribe below and you will get to see more of my lovely mix, more of my plans. Um, I have a small um, haul video coming. I um, There's just a few bits and pieces that I have been getting. Not like all this week, not all this month. Um, just a few bits that I have gathered up over the last uh, maybe six weeks or so and I just thought I would share it with you. But anyway, I digress. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about plans. I'm so excited. So, oh yes, what am I wearing? Um, at the, This is my um, Ogden cami. Do I have the pattern to hand? Oh yeah, here we go. Um, Ogden cami. If you have not seen this, where you been? <laughs> um, this I think is one of the most. It's definitely. I was watching. Was it the Fold Line lately? And they had done like a top ten um most popular patterns I think for the year, and this was in the top ten. Not surprisingly, um. So yeah, this is my um, Ogden and my Dotty green viscose from um, thread quarters i will link her shop below she doesn't have any more of the green colorway left but um she has the blue so i link it below it's just as nice so go over have a nosy and um, susie also and thread quarters susie also has uh, some lovely linen and um, i was looking at it yesterday again and i think i i'm thinking that i need to get I was actually looking at the oatmeal and there was only half a meter left in the oatmeal. Um but I, I maybe the green, the olive green or the khaki green, um for some three quarter length uh bottoms because I don't bottoms is a big hole in my wardrobe. I don't have an awful lot of bottoms. But anyway, I digress. But yes, go over and see Susie, she's great. Um so on with our plans. What have we got? So first things first, I think this is going to be the first thing that I'm going to get um, sewn up because we have been very lucky the last couple of days and have got um, some nice weather. Ooh, sneak peek. Um, some nice weather in um, Northern Ireland here. So if I can get this made up maybe over the next couple, maybe this evening and tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I don't know. We'll see anyway. See what happens. Um, never make solid plans because you don't know what can happen. But anyway, this is the fabric. This is a lovely, it's a really nice um, like cotton viscose I got from Lucky Fashions, Man Manjit, Lucky Fashions. Anyway, is it Dewsbury? Don't know, can't remember. Um, it's Lucky Fashions anyway. Um, she is on, Manjit is on Instagram, so I will link her Instagram below. Um, I just went through the photographs that she had on her Instagram and I spotted this one and messaged her, sent her a wee message just to ask if there was any more of it left and how much it was. She got back to me and literally it was here in like two days. But this is the pattern that I am going to be sewing up with it. So it is New Look. Is that 84.93? No, 60. <laughs> Spot who hasn't got her glasses on. This is New Look 64.93 and I am going to be doing you see. Um, I have it, as you can see, I have it cut up at the minute. It's attached to the um, my tracing paper. Um, I have it cut up and all, so I am at least a step ahead of myself. Woohoo! So um, hopefully that shouldn't take too long to get sewn up. I might even get the word out of it this summer. I, when I was planning it, I didn't think I was going to get the word out of it this year anyway, but I just figured 
I wanted to get it sewn up and um, use that lovely fabric because it honestly see if you could feel it it is so so soft so soft it feels lovely and um, yeah so that's the plan for that Um, I'm a bit nervous about the you can see the wee seam you can probably see it better here the seam along the front I'm a bit nervous about this but learning new skills all the time sure is not the best crack now um, if you see, so the measurements for this one the size ranges isn't great um, but the sizes are European goes from size 6 to size 18 um, and the measurements for it are for the bust 30 and a half inches up to just 40 inches um, waist 23 inches to only up to 32 inch waist um, hips are 32 and a half inches up to 42 and then your, the back of your neck to your waist your, I'm assuming that's your natural waist is 15 and a half inches to 17 inches I can't believe that only goes up to a 32 inch waist I wonder does this maybe come in wonder does this come in like you know the way they sometimes do patterns like here is our first size range and here is our second I'll have a wee nosy um, online and if it comes in two different sort of size ranges I'll pop both I'll pop a link for both um, down below so that you can get it somewhere at least but I got this one from Minerva it's actually quite funny I ordered it and um, when my parcel arrived it wasn't in it. It was too totally random. Um, number one, there was two of them. Two totally random patterns. I have no idea what happened, so I had to get them posted back. I just emailed Minerva and um, they were really helpful. Um, emailed me back quite quickly and I had to send both the patterns back and then they sent me this one. Once they got the return then they sent me this out in the post yes that is my first plan hopefully get that sewn up really really quickly and um, next plan was actually one of last um last month's plans but anybody that has been keeping up with my friday sews um there has been a bit of a nightmare with this one the um closet core the free pattern for their um the poof the scrap busting um, floor poofy so I have I have a cut out now um, and where is it here this one it was an Ikea fabric and um, for anybody that hasn't seen it lovely Ikea fabric I just bought it locally um, from uh, Kieran and Kitty in Lurgan here um, so and so they are on Facebook, so I'll put their Facebook um down below. I have that, and then I have some nice green trim. Um, I wonder. I'll not hook it out. I'll insert a picture just here, um, of the trim. I still I wasn't a hundred percent sure, but someone had commented um the other day to say that um. I should go ahead and just use the thinner. I had tried to get thicker piping um, for around the edges around here. Um, every time I ordered piping, it was the skinny stuff. So I wasn't sure what to do. I wasn't sure whether it would be okay with it or not. But somebody commented to say the other day, listen, just go for it. It should be grand. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, somebody else had asked about, I had mentioned that I had made a lining for the inside of the poof so that I could put all my scraps into the lining itself. And then um, it would mean whenever I needed to wash the outer fabric, I could just take it off. And like there's four, four kids in this house and a tailor who is also gross. 
So, um, does anybody else have to hoover their sofa? Hoover your sofa. Like, I mean, literally, take it apart and hoover it. I never used to have to hoover my sofa. Boys are gross. But anyway, I digress. Um, so, yes, the, the line. Give me one second. So, this is my big project. Like, I cut uh, stuff out and then I put it into this. So, you know, see, there's my, my the rest of that. Um, right, so, the pattern pieces for the closet core poof. You get one like this. So, this is your pattern piece for the bottom. Now, you just cut two of these and then you insert down along here, you insert your whatever your chosen fastening, whether you want to put a zip on or whether you want to put velcro. FYI, I just used velcro. Um, I was going to use a zip, but I didn't. I just went for the velcro. So um, I done one of these on the fold minus this. So I done one of those on the fold for the top piece of the lining. And then um, I done the bottom piece, I cut two of these. And then the pattern pieces for the side of the poof are like this. So you cut, um, what is it, 12? You cut 12 individual pieces of this. I was not doing that for the lining, no chance. So what I did was, it was very technical, very technical. Once I had the top piece, once I fold, once I unfolded it, unfolded is that a word? Once I opened it out, I just got a length of fabric that was this wide. So from here to here, I got a length of fabric that wide and I put it I sort of attached it to the um, to the large piece that I had cut for the top and I just kept sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing the whole way around till I got right back to the start and um, whenever I got back to the start because the, the length of fabric was really really long so um, I didn't cut it or anything I didn't measure it but once I had got to the very end I left enough um, sort of at the start and at the very end so that I could put those two ends together I could sew those together and make another seam there and that was really all there was to it um, it was just the lining fabric was literally it was an old sheet that um, mum was gonna toss out and I said give me that and I use it for twelves which is hilarious because I never make twelves but I was able to use it for the lining for this here so it has been getting lovingly stuffed with all sorts of random bits even like you know like whenever you do the matching of your socks and you find socks washed socks obviously um that have no match they're in the stuffing they're in they're tucked in there my son and my eldest son his uh school uniform he went to secondary school and I can't remember if it was for the first, for just the first year or the first year and the second year. He had a blazer. Then the school decided in their wisdom that they would completely change the whole school uniform. And also I think double the price of the blazer. So the blazer that he would have got another year out of can do nothing with it now and what a lot of the mummies would have done was they would have given their old blazers to you know put them into like local charity shops or left them with the school so that you know, families that are struggling and can't maybe afford to get the um the full uniform can't afford the blazers 
they could have got blazers out of local charity shops they could have got blazers from wherever you could have passed it on to you know your the next one coming up the line like your nieces or your nephews or whatever and um, like i have family that i would pass share stuff on to and family then pass the stuff back for you know my younger boys but you can do nothing with it now so and the jumper as well the trousers the whole lot they changed everything literally the jumper is the same but with like a green line that's it it's exactly the same jumper but just with a green line on it as well oh, anyway so both the jumper and they well no I didn't put the jumper in the um poof I put the blazer into the poof so it is now going to have my feet resting on it once I get the poof made up this week no this yeah this week month <laughs> what are we in um the jumper I held onto um thinking that I might be able to make something outside of it I might be able to salvage it in some way but I have no plan no solid plans yet but we'll see what happens um so that is we've got the poof we've got the dress oh i need to leave this out because oh, you're gonna see this this we do see again but we'll get to that in a minute um the other thing that i have planned of all these plans good luck on making them all christine good luck on making them all um once again i don't have the right thread so what do you do when you ha don't have the right thread? You go to your shop, you match it up. No, you don't. You use what you've got. That's not how it works. Yeah. So this is my thread. It's beautiful colour. I love it. Absolutely love it. Hot pink. Totally matches, doesn't it? Yeah, totally matches. What do you reckon? Should I go for it? Yes? No? Yes? No? Anyway, the plan. The plan. This, um, I believe, came from So Me Sunshine. Look at it. Isn't it so pretty? Isn't it just so pretty? And do you know what? It's really, really soft as well. It's um, organic certified Ecotex 100. Um, designed for you by Poppy. And it's called Flowers. I got it from So Me Sunshine, as I say, and it's like a fleecy black, fleecy black, fleecy backed um, sweatshirt. And it's lovely. And it's a really nice weight, too. It's not too, it's not too heavy. Um, and my plans for it. Stella Hoodie. I know it says hoodie and joggers, but I'm just going for the hoodie at the minute. Um, I do have plans for joggers, but I thought a hoodie and joggers in that might be a bit too much. What do you think? Should I go for it? Just, just go all out? Just go for it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll get the hoodie made first of all. We'll worry about joggers somewhere down the line. So that is my plan. I'm going to do the um, Stella hoodie by Tilly and the Buttons, which is in her stretch book. Um, sizing for this is, the hoodie is from bust 35 inches to 49. No, that's a finished garment measurement um bust is 30 inches to 44 inches waist is 24 inches to 38 inches hips are 33 inches to 47 inches and then the finished garment measurements are 35 inches to 49 inches 32 inches to 45 and three quarter inches for the waist and the hip is 36 and a quarter inches to 50 inches. So for the hoodie, I am actually going to, I'm going to go for size three. Um, my bust is a 
37 and a half at the fullest part. My waist is, my waist was a 32, but I measured it the other night and it seems to have gone down to a 30. Was it a 30? No, it wasn't. It was 29. I was like, how did that happen? When did that happen? I don't know. Because, like, when I made this, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was, there. I was 37, 32, and 40. And now, randomly, I'm 37 and a half, 29, and, like, 38 and a half on my hips. I don't understand. I don't know. I'm not. I'm like. I'm not knocking it. But you know, whatever, whatever. I. I'm going for the size three. Is basically what I'm getting at. Anyway. So yeah, what do you think? Should I just go for the the bobbin and everything? All um. What do you reckon? Should I just go for it in this color? I don't think it'll do any harm. I mean. There's a, there's not really any top station. There might be a bit round the. Around the waist, bit of twin, twin needling, bit of twin needling around the waist, um, possibly a wee bit around the hood, maybe. Not sure, but I reckon it should be all right. I mean, really and truly, I'm, like how much of it are you going to see? And I can just say that it's contrast, couldn't I? Just saying, I'm being an individual. I'm making it as part of my vision. People will buy that, won't they? Well, surely. Anyway, I'm at 20 odd minutes. I need to get my skates on. Maybe I just need to plan less this month. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll make plans for this month and then they'll just sort of maybe squeeze into next month. Oh yeah, and um, my whips. I have a few whips planned. Um, this should have been finished last month. My canvas blouse should have been finished last month. I didn't get it finished. And I'm still not finished because I still haven't got back near it. I've been doing more cutting, you see. Um, I've been using the time to do to cut projects out, um, and I haven't really done any sewing. So, but I, I am, I am, I am. It will get done. It will get done. I promise. Do you know why I'm promising you? You don't care if I get it finished or not. Um, I have a few other whips as well. Um, I. Anybody that has been here from day dot, whenever I was talking about my sewing journey, my sewing journey, where it started, um, I started out making nappies for my son. So this is one of the nappies that I made my second, my second born. Um, but obviously, as you can see, there's no, there's no longer any lining in it. Um, and a few of the snaps are needing replaced on it as well. You can see the holes for them there. Um, I need to cut, I have some suede cloth there, so I need to cut some suede cloth, get some new snaps on the go. I have loads there. I used to sell the nappy fabric and the snaps and stuff, so I have bucket loads of it. Um, I also I haven't finished picking this one apart. This one I used the wrong. This was one of the very, very, very early ones that I made. And I wasn't really sure what fabric I should use to line. Now, anybody that has ever used cloth nappies, when I tell you what I lined this with, you are going to laugh your head off. But I didn't know. I was like, I was just starting out. Give me a break. Right? Right? Chill out brushed cotton white brushed cotton is what I lined it with so yeah it has been lying in the whip box now for I do you know what I don't even think Dara has had this on that's how long it's been in the whip box so I need to get it all unpicked I have started unpicking it I need to finish unpicking it and then I also need to get a lining cut out for that one because that's pretty funky. Caitlin could, couldn't she? She could. Caitlin could wear that too. Um, but yes, those are 
three. One, two, three. Whoops. That I have planned. I also, I love this fabric. I also have two more of the nappies planned. And this fabric, how cute is that? Isn't that lovely? And I actually have, um, I have lots of terry, bamboo terry. So I might just do a few wee bibs as well to match. Not really sad, matching bibs and nappies. I don't care if it is, cause she's getting them anyway. But yes, yeah, so that's the first fabric. Um, do you know what? I actually have um, whenever I was selling all this stuff. Whenever I was selling all this stuff, I got um cotton jersey in this as well. So I actually have a massive roll of cotton jersey in this too. So um, I could make her a wee matching dress. That would be overload, would it? Would. Would. Will I go for it? <laughs> anyway, yes, so I have that. And then this other one. I love this one too. Pineapples! She'll have a wee pineapple bottom. So that's another nappy planned in that one. Sorry for anybody that is so not interested in nappies. As far as patterns are concerned, I just I just drafted my own pattern, so I I don't have a pattern to share with you. I don't sell the pattern or anything. I just it's just one I made up myself. So yes, that's that planned. Um, and I also have plans to use up some scraps. Although I, now when I show you um the fabric that I'm going to be using, I am quite aware that it's on a roll. I understand that it's on a roll but I have scraps of it as well and I just I want to use the scraps up so this is I have made um pajamas for myself whenever I was going into the hospital to have my baby to have my baby the way anyway, you like new jammies for going into hospital so or is that just is that an Ireland, is that a Northern Ireland thing surely it can't be everybody loves new jammies for going into hospital so I made um so zo log um she has a free cami pattern like a like a stretch cami camisole camisole um and i made jammies in this fabric they are gorgeous they are lovely they're really really nice and i've like a like a um the straps on them the straps are one color and then across here is another color you use like double side or fold over elastic double sided elastic shush Christine uh, you use um fold over elastic and um I put I use the fold over elastic for the straps and then in underneath the arms and then across here was a different color and they're really really nice and I made the um well how did I do the trousers I think it was a telly pattern maybe for the trousers i'm not sure um but yes the scraps from that make i they have been lying about and i was like i need to get them made up into something Cha ching totally you'd be seeing this again so this is what i am going to be making them up into i think it's supposed to be like a sports bra yeah because look there's a line drawn Oh, here, I didn't even show you the line drawn for the dress. There's the line drawn for the dress. There is, it's like a racer back for the, um, for the bra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it in the scraps from that fabric. Um, really? And truly, it's just going to be a nursing sort of nice loose top to be able to wear at night whenever I'm feeding Caitlin. Um, because I I am I am one hot mama when I'm sleeping. Cameron can't even come anywhere near me in the bed. I'm far too warm, so 
I use that as like a wee top to sleep in um, and then the bottoms that I have I can just wear them and I'll be all matchy 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 so that's the plan now I do have a bonus plan as well oh my goodness can you believe how many plans I have this month there's no way I'm getting any of this so not well some of it not I don't not not any of it but I'm not getting it all so not so I have a bonus make this fabric was gifted to me oh look miss matchy matchy this fabric was gifted to me by a friend of mine um margaret she is a dote an absolute dote she's lovely um and it's lovely green cord corduroy cord um it has been in my stash now for i think she gave me it around christmas time maybe just after christmas time it was dark when I went to collect it. I remember that much. Um, she actually gave me a sewing machine as well, which was amazing. Like a really, really good sewing machine. Anyway, um, and this is what we're going to be doing. Another Tilly and the Buttons Cleo. Now, I'm not going to do the shoulder ruffle on this one. I know I had done it on the last one. Um, but I'm not doing it this time around simply because I don't know how I don't know how the cord would cope with a ruffle and truth be told I can't be bothered to find out <laughs> it's not awful um, but yeah I just I seen that colour and I was like that's an amazing colour that is being that is definitely that has a Cleo written all over it so um I have the I'm not sure if the Cleo comes in PDF um if it comes in PDF I would imagine that um the size ranges on the Cleo may well be extended if they are I will pop a link down below so oh can you hear the can you hear the gate that's probably the eldest coming home but anyway, sizes are a waist 24 inches up to a 38 inch and the hip is 33 inches up to 47 inches. Um, I still have the, um, the dungaree clasp for um, doing the fastening. But again, I think I might just do the... I might just do the buttons i'm not sure i don't know i don't know we'll see how we go maybe i'll push myself although i think given how much i have given myself to do this month learning another new skill on top of it might be just the cam or no not the camel the straw that breaks the camel's back we'll see we'll see what happens anyway we make plans and if they happen they happen and if they don't well sure they don't happen they'll go down the list and they'll fall in next month anyway but yes that is everything from me today and um, if you're still awake well done because we're 30 odd minutes in so well done you <laughs> been sitting here listening to me gassing on i hope that you aren't down a drought i hope you managed to get yourself a cup in the middle of it all and um, that's my plans for the month we will see how i get on um, I know I had said in my last video about um, a coat and stuff but I'm going to do a separate um, video for the, for my autumn mix and um, I'll be honest I have a funny feeling this might just slip into the autumn mix I just I think I think that's going to be pushing it a bit much this month and um, try and get that sewn up but anyway thank you for joining me um, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, thumbs up for Monday, even though it's not Monday, thumbs up and um, subscribe, hit the subscribe button below and the wee bell icon. So anytime I upload a video, you'll get a wee notification and you can come join me for more nothing and silly talk. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you all later. Bye.